Hello and welcome to this review of Lindemann's Bin 55 Rich Red Wine Blend from Southeastern Australia. 750 milliliter bottle, it's 13.5% alcohol, don't drink too much, 56% Shiraz and 44% Cabernet Sauvignon. It was bottled in September 2017 and Mathern's had a big sale, $2.99 a bottle. So I said I'm buying a lot. Okay. So I bought the uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, the Cabernet Merlot, and the regular Merlot. Aside from this. I could have bought more. They have more and more. I said, well, how about I buy these four and then wait and see if they have another big sale one day. They sell a lot of this stuff. It's extremely popular. Um, and that's what I know about it. The uh, company has been around since, what, 1843. The, the full name is Dr. Henry John Lindemann's Wines. And, uh, so 1843. 176 years. And this is the first video review for this red blend in the world. Oh, it's deep red. It's burgundy. I said this before, it's like a 1983 Buick Regal with the bur with the uh, crushed velvet burgundy interior and the burgundy uh, vinyl top. All right, that, that color burgundy, some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Now they give some pretty intricate tasting notes, which I read. I don't remember what they said. Of course, it was all just wonderful acclamation of the wine you know they're selling it so they're talking about how good it is um, but I'll just give you what I think about it strong red wine nose lots of grape skins red deep dark red grape skins they said it was aged in French and American oak so some of it in French oak some in American then they blended it Very dry in the nose and strong grape skins. If you don't like the tannins, it's not going to appeal to you. If you're, if you're favorable towards strong tannins, you'll like it. It's pretty dry. Not super dry, I would say medium dry. Grapes, red grapes. May I imagine that. <laughs> some cherry, some cherry. A little spice from the skins, but not re really, not a very spicy red wine, I don't think. It could be kind of powdery dry, though. I know some people can't stand that. It's fine for me. I guess I kind of like people asking, what what type of wine do you like? I said, well, all of it. <laughs> seems all it all seems good to me, no matter what the style. Um, medium body. Hmm. High high medium body. High medium, nearly heavy. You know, medium dry finish. So. They have food pairings, they said, with braised oxtail. Now, that doesn't sound like something I would want to eat, but if you like braised oxtail, they're saying that this would pair well with it. Um, so, what would I score it? I never had a red blend that was Shiraz and the Cabernet Sauvignon, but, um, but, um, it's really nice. There goes the refrigerator, I knew it was about to click on. Not the best thing I ever had. Doesn't matter. It's two ninety nine a bottle on sale. Sure is enjoyable. Um, I think my favorite is that Burgundy wine. You know, it's a blend. Burgundy from like Gallo family. They're rich bur hearty Burgundy. They call it the Livingston Cellars Burgundy. The the uh, Carlo Rossi Burgundy. Those I really like. 
And in New Orleans, they have Burgundy. They pronounce it Burgundy. Burgundy Street. That's what they say, Burgundy. All right, so... Uh, Yeah, 92 out of 100. A minus, 92 out of 100. Very enjoyable product. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.